Edith can shoot things and hit them. And it's such an intriguing title. I go, what the hell could that mean? It was a lovely, lovely play. It's very funny, very sweet. Uh, uh, it's about three young people who are trying to figure out how to become adults. And uh, um, it's at times hilarious, at times heartbreaking. Um, very, very surprising. I did not, I did not anticipate what was going to happen. I didn't know anything about the play. Usually, when I go to play, I kind of know. I either seen it once before. I heard from friends. But it's a good and way to go to see a play. You yeah, come in completely open. Complete. It was very beautiful. It was very touching. I, I found it. I found it very moving. This is an important story to tell in, in this in this age of awareness where we're finally taking a stand against bullying. This kind of uh, is a rewind a little bit. It's, it's to an earlier time where there were no gay straight alliances in schools, uh, where gay kids just sort of had each other. The story was really moving. Sort of get the snapshot of what it's like to try and build a family, right, when maybe the traditional ways in which a lot of kids are expected to sort of be a part of their families is, is no longer pos possible. I have students, so I will, and they have required art, arts events. I will push this really hard for them to come down and see this. It's really satisfying to see the audience's reaction, to hear them laugh, and to feel them listening to the play and be along for the ride. You know, it's all about teenage angst, and all of us can relate to that. The artists at play, if this is the level that, you know, they're doing in just their second show, I mean, the sky's the limit, and they've picked a really, really, really great play, and um, I think that's the first step, is picking good material, and then picking good actors and collaborators and artists. It's such a good play. Two very good stories about a brother and a sister and a, a budding romantic relationship, and they're kids, and it's innocent, and it's and it's raw, and it's really honest, and you don't see a lot of stories like that pulled off well. He's a Filipino player who writes for Filipinos, whether he intends it or not, it's uh, something that I really admire in, in so someone who shows a lot of integrity. So in a lot of ways, this is a Filipino-themed play. But one of the unique, I think, things about the story, these characters are really American, or they're just, they're just people, and they're experiencing what they experience because they're a 12-year-old and they're a 16-year-old. I think Edith can shoot things and hit them is that kind of example of what it is that is so special and so unique. You can't reproduce this on film, you can't reproduce this on TV. It's, it's theater, it's happening before you, and it won't be the same again tomorrow. Please come out and see Edith Can Shoot Things and Hit Them. Come see the show! <laughs> come, come see Edith Can Shoot Things and Hit Them. <laughs>